this is writing video one. Um, I am just showing you our pre-writing um, organizer that we used last week to begin planning our fictional narrative. Remember, we were writing a fictional narrative about characters who survive a natural disaster. Okay, and um, this is just an example of one that they had um, from last week. So that's why I'm showing this to you, but you should have your completed pre-writing um, pre planning sheet ready to roll this week. But before we start doing our drafting, we're going to look at um, the just kind of the format that we'd like you to do it in. So this is the format that I'm going to take the information from my completed pre-writing um, organizer and I'm going to slide it into, obviously with more detail, into a draft. Okay, so in my beginning, okay, in the first paragraph I'm going to introduce the main character and reveal the situation or the problem. And then I'm going to use descriptive words to help my readers picture what's happening. Okay, um, the things that are happening and how they're beginning to solve it is kind of what's happening in the middle. Um, you need to then end it, give your um, your readers some closure about what happens in your story. So this is what it would look like from the pre-writing um, organizer that we looked at at the beginning of this lesson. So here is the draft, okay? Riding the waves. Giant foamy waves rolled over the deck of the ship. Nine-year-old Josh suddenly lost his balance and fell. Okay, right there. We have our main character, and we have a problem. Are you all right, Josh? His mother shouted, seeing her standing tall with both hands on the boat's wheel made Josh feel better. I'm okay, he shouted back. Josh turned and saw Professor Ortega and the crew members working hard in spite of the wind and rain to keep a group of small objects from being washed overboard. Then Josh remembered how the crew had brought up some artifacts from an old sunken ship that morning. They could be treasures, he said to himself. All right, so here we have more detail about other characters and what's happening with great detail. So their boat kept rising and falling like a wild horse. Horse. Josh and the professor went below deck, and as the ship rolled, Professor Ortega asked Josh to help put the artifacts safely away into storage containers. Josh was so interested in the possible treasures that he almost didn't notice when the storm stopped and the sea became calm. Okay, so here we have closure. This is an interesting way to end this. Um, but we know that the storm stopped, the sea became calm, and nothing serious happened. Okay, so this is just a sample draft based on the pre-writing organizer that I showed you at the beginning of this lesson. We also need to talk about choosing words. Word choice is our focus trait, and good writers choose words to make a story exciting and memorable. Writers can choose strong words to convey powerful ideas and can show how serious a problem is or how important a character's actions are. Okay, so here is a connection to mountains surviving on Mount Everest. Instead of writing this, getting caught in a snowstorm farther up the mountain would be unsafe. The author wrote this. This is on page 355. Getting caught in a snowstorm farther up the mountain would be deadly. Okay, what effect does the word deadly have instead of unsafe? It's a really strong word that shows us how dangerous this problem is if they would get caught in a snowstorm farther up the mountain. Okay, so I am going to have us practice using strong words and choosing words for effects. We are going to turn to your reader's notebook, um, page 149. So page 149, here is a sentence without strong words. Very cold winds blew hard. Okay, here is strong words that have effect. Icy winds roared by. Just think about how strong those words, just adding a couple of strong words adds some effect to the writing. So your job here is, in these five sentences, to rewrite them. Okay, you're going to choose a stronger word or a phrase from the box here on the, in the middle to replace the underlined word or phrase. So let's do the first one. Mount Everest is a very tall mountain. OK, 
okay, what could we replace that with? That would be a stronger word choice. How about Mount Everest is a towering mountain? Okay, that is a strong word that gives you a mental picture. It's towering over you. It's massive. It's not just very tall. It's very large. Okay, it's towering. So I would put the word towering for very tall. You're going to finish the other four sentences, and then you're going to start to um, draft your fictional narrative. Being mindful, all right, to um, introduce your character setting and situation in the beginning, and then to also organize events in a logical order and describe the character's experiences and feelings. Okay, so you are going to finish this page and you are going to draft, draft away.